hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel Maison african motives uh, still working on engineering science and two uh, so we are going to be focusing on the question paper which was uh, actually written uh, in february 2022 uh, for engineering science and two but uh, we just want to see what we had there on the first question that is on dynamics so we shall be working on different uh classes uh different uh questions uh from this question paper okay so if you're new you can consider subscribing so that you won't miss any of the classes that we shall be having from Mason african motives okay so we are given the first question in this part uh to simplify uh, sorry for that to define the following terms all right so we asked to define the following terms the 1.11 distance and give it as a unit all right so we know that distance is the distance covered regardless of what regardless of direction okay so we've got something like this uh, whereby we've got distance which is the distance covered regardless of direction and this is actually measured in what in meters all right so that is what you have for distance i think it's a simpler definition uh, then velocity we know that that one is the rate of change of the displacement all right if you are given displacement you're working with the rate of change of displacement which is actually measured in meters uh, per second or this can be written as uh, meters per second something like this all right someone can write like this meters per second is still one and the same thing but that is the definition for velocity uh, actually referring uh, to the displacement over the the time that you'll be taken uh, that will give you the velocity so we are going to talk about this uh, in the next question where we are given a bus is moving with a constant velocity take note guys a, a, this bus is moving with a constant velocity of 20 meters per second for five seconds and comes to rest in three seconds at the robot okay which turned red all right 1.21 draw a fully labeled velocity time graph of the motion of the bus over its chain all right to ask to draw a fully labeled velocity time take note here it's a velocity time graph that you're working with all right so we know that when you are dealing with the velocity time graph we need velocity versus uh, the time so it's something like this where here we have got velocity here and here we have got your time all right so it's supposed to be something which is clear okay so let's just take something here let's just say this is the time axis which is measured in seconds remember time is measured in seconds and you have got velocity which is measured in meters per second all right so let's say this is at zero okay so let's see what happened here um the first part is a bus which is moving it with a constant velocity so already it is having a certain velocity of 20 uh so it no, it is not at zero but it is somewhere so let's just say this is your 20 all right so let's just say so if it is constant which means it's going to maintain this 20 all right so it's going to be a straight line from this part here it's going to be a straight line something like this you are maintaining this uh for a certain time okay so this was maintained for how many seconds for five seconds remember time is in seconds so this is going to correspond with a time uh, which is five in this case all right so that is uh, constant so take note when it is constant it's supposed to be straight horizontal like that then let's see what happened and comes to rest take note when it comes to rest which means it is no longer moving the velocity is at zero but this is going to take three seconds all right so when it comes to, it's going to take three seconds so five plus three is going to be eight so it's going to come to rest which means it's going to be like this it comes to rest all right it's going down until it at, at the ground like that that is to be at rest but it takes three seconds but yet take note this is five so five plus three is going to give us eight so which means this one is going to be eight all right so this is your velocity time graph uh, so you can just have it at 10 20 or you can just uh, have something like this but that is what you're having in this case all right that's that's for max guys for that just for max all right then what's let's, let's see let's see 
where they are asking in the next part calculate the acceleration of the bus during its last three seconds all right the acceleration during the last three seconds this is um the last three seconds here remember between here there is three seconds all right and we know that uh, so this was 1.21 okay for the velocity term graph then 1.22 we need to calculate the acceleration all right so we know that acceleration is equivalent to the change in velocity over the change in time i've talked about this previously in another in other classes where i mentioned that the change in velocity simply means uh, v2 minus v1 or you're actually saying final velocity minus what initial velocity okay over final time minus the initial time which is simply means I want you to cross check this is the last three seconds guys and we've got our formula okay so in the last three seconds what happened the object was at this point which is the bus this is this is the bus okay and was decelerating as you can see it's decreasing until it comes to rest so this is where it started to decelerate so this is your initial velocity which is your u1 which corresponds with what with the 20 okay and this is your final velocity because it is moving towards this direction until it comes to rest where we know that the final velocity when it is at rest is zero uh, this is meters per second remember velocity guys meters per second all right so that's your u2 and your u1 so that is what you're going to substitute which is actually the velocity so you can just write as v okay so that's zero minus your initial which is 20 all right or oh, everything over t2 minus t1 it actually this initial is corresponding with five so this is your t1 and this one corresponds with eight which is t2 so it's eight minus five all right so you're going to have eight minus five that is uh, what you're going to have in this case all right so let's see what you're going to have if you simplify properly this is going to be uh, just use your calculator guys or you can obtain negative 20 over 8 minus 5 which is 3 then from your calculator you're going to obtain an endless decimal of 6,66666 and so forth all right so if you round off properly you're going to have 6,667 uh, this 6 is going to change this into uh, 7 and this is acceleration remember which is measured in meters per square second or you can just write this as meters per square second like this is still one and the same thing but just take note that acceleration guys this one is a deceleration that is why you're obtaining it with a negative it was actually going downwards so it's going to be a negative value okay on 1.23 calculate the d displacement covered by the bus throughout the journey okay so it's throughout the journey throughout okay so remember that the displacement guys if it is throughout the journey is going to be the area that is uh, covered here that is the area below the graph okay so you need to calculate the area okay so this is 1.23 where we need the displacement so you're actually saying that this displacement is equivalent to the area under the graph okay that is area under the graph or under the curve all right so from the graph that you are given we have got uh, two options you can just use this the whole shape is a trapezium okay so you can use a trapezium area of a trapezium or you can choose to separate this into two into a rectangle most of you are used to a rectangle and a triangle okay so you can use area of a rectangle which is we know that area of a rectangle is length times the breadth okay so we've got the length and the breadth in this case so it's length by the breadth okay and which is length times width okay plus we're going to move on here we've got a rectangle take note here we've got a rectangle so area of a rectangle we know that it's half base times the perpendicular height all right so let's substitute the from the formulas that we are given let's we have given uh yeah this is the longer side which is 20 times uh, 5 in between here so it's 20 times 5 or just 5 times 20 is one in the same thing plus we move on it's gonna be half of base times the perpendicular height so in this case in between 5 and 8 we've got 
3 so it's going to be half of 3 multiply by from this point up to this point this is your perpendicular height which is at 90 degrees this is the distance so this line corresponds with this distance which is 20 so you're going to multiply by 20 like this all right so you combine everything uh, it's best for you to write this in brackets it's going to be nicer okay so you can just write the value that you're going to obtain by 20 by 5 which is going to be something like 100 plus from your calculator if you simplify properly this is going to be something like 30 all right so we've got 100 plus 30 if you add properly you're going to this is going to be 130 meters so take note it is the area that you're calculating yes but you are calculating the displacement so this is going to be in meters not square units no it's supposed to be in meters because you're calculating the the displacement all right so that is how you actually end up with the, this from uh, the diagram that you're given so like i said you could have just used the area of a trapezium it's one and the same thing actually all right so let's see another question which is on 1.24 where you're asked to calculate the average velocity of the bus all right so the average velocity of the bus uh, where are we going to obtain this all right uh, let's see 1.24 this is a 1.24 we are asked to calculate the average velocity so the average velocity is actually this displacement that is uh, the total displacement overtaken over the time over the time taken all right so what are we having here the displacement that we have uh, from what we have calculated we obtained the displacement of 130 meters that is the displacement okay so you have got 130 over the time taken so the time taken is the one that you have here uh, from the velocity uh, time graph here this is the total time of eight seconds from zero up to eight that's your total time so you're going to divide by eight so take note this is the distance in meters and this is the time in seconds so it's going to be in meters per second so if you divide properly from your calculator you're going to obtain 16,25 meters per second which someone can actually write this as 16,25 meters per second still one and the same thing okay so this is the way that you can write uh, meters per second you can just write it direct as meters per second or you can write it in this way is still one and the same thing so that is how they actually ask these questions guys if you are to cross check on dynamics uh, you've got a total of 15 marks from this information so that's it guys that is what we had on dynamics from the question paper which was written in february 2022 for engineering science and two so not to miss these classes guys from Mason african motives make sure that you become part of the family by subscribing and turn on your notifications so that you won't miss any of the classes that we shall be having from Mason african motives till we meet again